Thy word is truth, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us through thy word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us through thy word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved. Good morning, beloved. You are welcome to this word of truth. The topic of the word of truth of today is How shall we sing the Lord's song? In a strange land. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Our Bible text is taken from the book of Psalm 137, verse 1 to 4 that says, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, here we wept, when we remembered Zion. We hung the house upon the willows in the midst thereof. For they that carry us away captive required of us a song. And they that wasted us required of us milk, saying, Sing God's one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Our God is great and is greatly to be praised. He deserves all our praises at all times, because He's the one that keeps us and that keeps wash over us. He satisfied our mouth with good things and filled our heart with goodness of heaven. God is worthy of all our praises. God ordained his praise in our mouths. God put his song in our mouths to sing praises unto his holy name. The word of God says in the book of Isaiah 43, 21 that says, These people that I have formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. God created man to praise him and to serve him. Psalm 102 verse 18 says, This shall be written for the generation to come, and the people who shall be created shall praise the Lord. We are created to show forth the praise of our God. That is, wherever we go or in whatever we do as a child of God, we must show forth the glory of God. People should see us and give glory and praise to our Father which is in heaven. God has put his song in our mouth at all times to praise him and to sing praises to his holy name. In his presence, for our acts of service to be accepted by God. But it is a pity that many Christians have departed from the presence of God. The song that God has put in their mouth, they are now singing it in a strange land. Many are singing the Lord's songs in a strange land. Many have diverted from the way of the Lord. Many have departed from the presence of God. Many have been driven away from the presence of God because of sins, iniquities, disobedience, love of the world, glory of the world, fame, position, name, promotion, power, anointing. Many have departed from the presence of God because of one sin or another. They are now in a strange land, the land where there is no presence of God, the strange land of sin, of sin, iniquities, disobedience, and rebellion. And this has reduced the power of God and the presence of God in our times. Many are singing the lost songs in sin, in iniquity, in disobedience, in uncleanness, in secret sins, in, in secret sins, and this has withdrew the presence of God in the midst of his children. Instead of God to be present in the midst of his children and to take all the glory and to release his blessing upon his children, it is the devil and his agents that are present, adding more to their problems. The children of Israel here in the book of Psalm 137, we are led into captivity because of sin adultery, rebellion, and the people that carry them to captive, to captive required of them a son, that they that wasted them require of them a milk, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion, because they had and knew about the goodness of God to the children of Israel in the past, how God delivered them from Egypt, how God brought them to Canaan, and how they were living in Zion. But now they have been driven out of the promised land because of sin now they are now in the strange land and they were asked to sing the lost song for them in the strange land but the children of Israel knew that the presence of God is not there it was not the land ordained by God to, to ordained by God to praise him that was not how God said they should praise him the song ordained to sing to the Lord must be sing to must not be sing to a man the glory that belongs to God must not be given unto man. 
the lost songs that the lost supposed that we supposed to sing to God in His presence should not be sung in a strange land. And they answered their advisories. How can we sing the lost song in a strange land? Strange land may also represent many things. Anything that that may want to take a child of God from the presence of God is a strange land. What is that strange land? I want to take the song that, that God has put in your in your mouth away. Is it persecution? Is it trials? Is it pain? Is it temptation? Is it problem? Is it trouble? Is it distress? Is it famine? Is it nakedness or peril that the enemy is using to challenge you, to divert you from the presence of God so that you may start to sing the lost song in a strange land? You must say no to the devices of the devil and make the declaration, I shall sing the song God has put in my mouth and that belongs to God for God in his presence. I will sing my song and I will dance my dance in the presence of the Lord. I will not sing for the enemy to rejoice. I will sing my song for God in his presence and give glory due to his holy name. Amen. Beloved, this is the time to examine ourselves so as to be sure we are not singing the Lord's song in a strange land. This is the time to make the decision not to allow anything to take the song God has put in our in our mouth away. This is the time to remain focused and give unto the Lord glory due unto his name and worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. This is the time to declare his goodness among the nation, that he is our God and God will definitely, definitely hear us, answer us, bless us and deliver us in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayers. Please, let's take these prayers today together by saying, in Jesus' name, O oh God, my Father, Help me not to sing your song in a foreign land. O oh God, my Father, help me not to sing your song in a foreign land. Father, help me to show forth your praise wherever I am and in whatever I do in Jesus' name. Father, help me to show forth your praise wherever I am and in whatever I do in Jesus' name. Father, help me not to depart from your presence in Jesus' name. Father, help me not to depart from your presence in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I decree and I declare, I shall sing my, I shall sing my song and dance my dance in the presence of the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I decree and I declare, I shall sing my song and dance my dance in the presence of the Lord in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I will pray. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.